the puck control relay is the next of the skills competitions. We've had winners in the fastest skater, Connor McDavid, the goaltender's lead by taken by Mark Andre Fleury. Puck control and passing for Alex Petrangelo, and now a single timed event again, and some of the best puck handlers in the game. This is a pretty good field that includes Johnny Gaudreau, Eric Carlson, and Austin Matthews. So yesterday in testing, one of the skills here is you have to flip a puck through a lighted That's circle. Right <laughs> this, guy. this very creative young man found a loophole and uh, they've disallowed that. So the players tonight aren't able to do that. But you can flip it up onto your stick and put it through. You just can't put your stick all the way through. So it'll be interesting to see the creativity of these eight. Well, you see players all the time flip do the puck stuff. in the air and then hit it. And so the first competitor is Johnny Gaudreau. And he stick handles through the bucks. And now he'll go through this obstacle course in the neutral zone. And we'll see how creative he gets. Waiting for the light to come on. Puts it through. Middle light. <laughs> Just through. And into the net for a time of 24.65 seconds. Well, this, this would be defined as a stacked group. Look at the skill with which the league has picked for this little competition. All of them are awesome. All of them protect the puck so well. They stick handle so effectively. They have great hands, quick moves, and even a little bit of a good start as Johnny Gaudreau sets the bar pretty high. What a great player Alexander Barkov is, and I don't think enough people see him all the time. And he's a big man with soft hands, dual citizen of Finland and Russia, and off to a sluggish start there. They jinxed him. Now, what will he do as he comes up to these traffic lights? Got fooled. Johnny Gaudreau has the lead. And Barkov is uh, finally through. Well, I mentioned what has happened here in Tampa and what a good hockey town it's become and what great players they have and what a great team and the face of the franchise and the leader of the team is Steven Stamkos. You must be thrilled to have North America watching your team put on a show like this. Oh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> almost like a proud parent, I guess, uh, to, to really show off our, our city. Uh, it's been a great event so far. Uh, the fan support has been unreal. We were at the concert last night. It was packed. Today, uh, you know, the, the crowd uh, has been unbelievable, so it's been a lot of fun. How do you handicap this event? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm just glad I'm not doing it. So, <laughs> I, as you can tell, I'm doing the, the easy ones, the shooting ones, where there's no skating involved and no puck handling, so I'm happy about that. Stammer, you're on the air, so you're required to tell the absolute truth. Have you ever dressed up like a pirate? Uh, I have. I was a pirate a couple uh, couple Halloweens ago, so uh, I haven't had the chance to do the Gasparilla in full yet. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it, it's a pretty fun event. That might be a post-career event. Yes, I think so. That's probably safer to do it that way. Here's Eric Carlson with a shot, and uh, Johnny Gaudreau at 24.65 paved the way as the first shooter in this event and has the lead over Carlson and Barkoff and next comes John Tavares. Steven, the fastest skater seemed to be the one that nobody wanted to go in. Uh, tell us about Braden Point. Were you surprised at all of how close he was to winning that thing? You know what we were saying? Um, Connor was probably uh, his competition before, so yeah. I don't think I was, we, we weren't surprised. We see him fly up and down the ice every practice and uh, I know he goes under the radar a little bit, but he's going to be a household name pretty soon. Uh, he, he's so deserving of this honor, and uh, it was pretty close at the end. Uh, Connor, Connor's going to be the champion in that for a long time, <laughs> I think. John Tavares quickly through those pucks and now into the obstacle course. He's got a chance here as a veteran player to beat Johnny Gaudreau. Let's see how he does at the traffic lights. Stammer, would you have any advice for a Tavares going through potentially being a free agent? You know, I've been asked a lot about that, and, and to be honest, Johnny and I haven't even really discussed that. He, 
He's been showing it uh, on the ice this season with how well he's played that it hasn't been a distraction for him. And sometimes, you know, I went through it. Uh, there are some times when you think about it, but usually when you come to the rink, the focus is on the game and what you have to do to, to prepare and help your team win. And he's obviously done a great job of that this year. Steven, you came here in 2008, so you've been here for a while now. What differences have you seen? And we always talk about the grassroots level of hockey and how you grew up in that sort of grassroots hockey where you could play everywhere, lots of rinks. What's it like in Tampa now? Well, it's 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 gotten a, a lot bigger and a lot better. Um, you know, I, like you said, it's been 10 years now, and I've seen a huge transition. Like you mentioned, not only with this organization, but um, with with the youth hockey and, and just how much people in, in Tampa and the Tampa Bay area uh, enjoy the game. I think uh, first and foremost it starts with their owner and, and Mr. Vinick and his family and what they've done. It's been uh, unbelievable and, and you see it here tonight with uh, all the fans uh, that have come out, especially the young kids. They love the game. They love watching these stars out here today. So uh, it, it was an unbelievable experience I'm sure for them. Pretty good go at it for Connor McDavid but he's still five seconds short. Uh, the other guy from Alberta Johnny Goodrow who has the lead in this puck control competition. We're gonna see you in the hardest shot tonight. Um, how fast do you think your one-timer into the back of the net in Nashville was the other night? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a good one. Those are one of those where it just flies off the stick. You don't even feel it, almost like a, a, a nice golf shot. Um, but uh, I think Ovi and I were chatting before. I think we'd prefer if someone maybe laid a pass for us so we could yeah, one-time yeah. it. So uh, we, we had a good chuckle about that, but we'll see. I mean, it's. It's an open field with uh, obviously the big boys not here and, and Chara and Weber, so uh, it should be interesting. Now, have you ever had a radar on your shot to know what it would or could be? Uh, I've done it a couple times actually uh, at the All-Star game. I'll be happy uh, if I can break the, the 100 barrier, so that's what I'm shooting for. Austin Matthews, nobody it looks like is going to be able to catch Johnny Gaudreau. Still a couple more to come. Tyler Sagan. And Patrick Kane bringing this, up the rear may be able to do it. Yeah, this last challenge seems to be the most difficult. And Drew Doughty was on in between the periods here. Stephen was talking about just how weird it was trying to hit that target and how nervous he got. Is it a bit of a nerve-wracking experience down there when you're on your own trying to do these things? You know what it is. And uh, <laughs> you, you think guys are just here having fun, which of course we are, but. The, the, the competition creeps in and guys start chirping and you know you look around and uh, you know there's 20,000 people in the stands <laughs> and staring and you're, at you. you're all alone trying to put a puck into a little net uh, yeah. the hands get a little shaky sometimes but uh, it just goes to show um, you know how some you know the difficulty of some of these events I know there's a lot of new ones this year too and um, you know it's going to take a while I think for the guys to, to adjust but it seems like everyone's having fun. I have a hard time golfing with you with three other guys watching me tee off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what it feels like when you're on the tee block yeah. and everyone's watching at the clubhouse. You just want to get to the second hole. Absolutely. And the third hole on this one is it's Tyler Zagan. And just that little bit of a difficulty in picking up the puck <laughs> is going to cost him. And again, the lighted hole. I mean, you got to make a decision. Now he's doing the Eric Carlson. Pick it up, put it on your stick. Steven, you're missing your best defenseman right now. What went through your mind when you saw Hedman go down uh, a while back? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you yeah. know, with some of the injuries we've had the past couple years, um, you know, it was kind of a, about time we caught a break with, with an injury. It didn't seem to be as serious as it looked. Hopefully he's back very soon. Obviously, we you can't replace a guy like Hedy. We miss him. and. You know, I think, like I said, the good news was it wasn't too serious, and he'll be back. And just in time for the toughest part of, of the regular season is, is coming off this All-Star break. There's so many teams that are still so close in the standings, uh, and the games get a lot tighter. So we're, we're looking forward to having him back in the lineup. Last competitor in this puck control event, and he might be the best puck controller in the game. And I think he's got a shot at Johnny Gaudreau's time of 24.65. Through one, got to go up top. Little bit of a bobble. Not going to do it. Oh. So close. And Johnny Gaudreau wins the competition.